Hi, Alex here. This video is a follow-up to my last video, which was all about the cash flow quadrant. If you haven't seen it, then do check it out by clicking on the card, which I'll put up on the screen right now. But in this video, I wanted to expand on the things I spoke about in that video. And I wanna talk about the cash flow quadrant from an internet marketeer's point of view. Now, in the book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad 2, or maybe even Rich Dad, Poor Dad 1, I've got two here, which is called the cash flow quadrant. It talks about kind of old fashioned things when it comes to business and stuff, you know, businesses with premises and staff and, and all that sort of stuff. But obviously in today's world, and especially uh, where I'm coming from, I wanna make my money online without a warehouse, without staff or any of that stuff. So I wanna talk about how this cash flow quadrant does apply in the internet age. So let's just remind ourselves of the cash flow quadrant. You've got the E for employment, you've got the S for self-employment, you've got the B for business owner, and then you've got the I for investor. So let's go through each one of those and how they apply to an internet marketeer. So the first one is E, which is employment. And that basically means you've got a job, you're working for someone, you work at an agency, a web development company, something like that, and you're making websites or you're managing advertising campaigns, doing analytics reports, all that sort of stuff. Uh, you go in nine to five, probably longer, you get paid your money at the end of the month and uh, yeah, it takes long like that. And yeah, you go in every day for the rest of your life. So the S is where it starts to get a little bit more interesting. To become a self-employed internet marketer, you go out on your own and maybe you start making websites for people, you start doing their Facebook pages, or maybe you even start doing some jobs online. You do some Fiverr gigs, you fill in some online surveys to get paid, you do some website user testing again and you get paid for it. There's a whole load of different things that you can do where you get paid by the hour or paid by the result. The problem with the S is, is that you still have to work by the hour to get paid. So it's not that much different from being a employee in the E section, except you've got to kind of take responsibility for your own stuff. You've got to motivate yourself. You've got to process your taxes. You've got to do all that kind of thing. So let's move into the B section. Now this is the real cool area when it comes to internet marketing. Because I said back in the day and when this book was written and what it talks about, when it comes to setting up a B, it actually involves quite a lot of money and a lot of work because you have to create a physical business. But nowadays with the internet, we've got the tools and resources that we need to create something from home without having to spend loads of money and without having to take on staff or premises or any of that stuff. So a few ideas when it comes to owning an online business. The first is that you could have an affiliate marketing website. This is basically where you start to promote other people's products on your website and social media. Now on my other channel, which is WP Eagle, I've got a number of uh, videos on how to create an affiliate marketing website. Um, you can promote products from companies like Amazon, like eBay, pretty much any merchant that you can find online. If you scroll down into the footer and take a look, you'll see there's a link to an affiliate program. So that means that whatever you're passionate about, you can create a website and create some great content in which you mention some great products. And then when someone makes that purchase, you get paid a commission. Obviously the great thing about an affiliate marketing website is that we're moving away from getting paid by the hour. Now, setting up an affiliate website is not an easy task. It's gonna take some time and a bit of effort and maybe just a tiny bit of money. But once it's created and once it's working, it will start to earn you money even while you're asleep. By the way, I'll add links to everything I'm talking about in the description. Another thing that falls into the B category when it comes to internet marketing is a YouTube channel, just like you're watching right now. You've probably heard that there are many, many YouTubers that are making lots of nice money just from creating videos. And again, they do become basically a business because once you start to get some popularity, get some subscribers and get some views, not only are you earning money residually, which basically means you're earning it in your sleep from the advertising revenue, you'll also start to get opportunities and offers from third parties, sponsorship deals, promotional merchandise, uh, just doing other projects. So yeah, YouTube has become a online business. Another idea that I'll give you on the B category is drop shipping. So this is where you set up an online store selling products, but you don't actually have to handle those products physically. You don't have to have a warehouse, you don't have to send stuff out. All you have to do is get some orders and they are then fulfilled by another company. Now, I saw a great example of this the other day, which was a guy and he was selling some sunglasses that he was getting imported from China. And by the way, you can find stuff to buy from China on sites like Alibaba, which is what he'd done. He'd found some great sunglasses and he was getting those imported from China straight into Amazon's warehouse and they were doing all the fulfillment and distribution for him. So all he had to do was get his website working, take some orders for these sunglasses, pass those orders straight through to Amazon. He didn't even have to touch a pair of sunglasses. 
he was spending his time traveling the world. He did actually have one employee, so it was a little bit like a traditional business. That was his mother, who spent a couple of hours a day doing the customer service, you know, dealing with returns, answering questions, that sort of thing. So there's a few ideas. Obviously, there are loads and loads of other ideas in terms of setting up an online business that's going to create some residual income for you. Just go to Google and type in, you know, ideas for online residual income, and you will find loads of articles full of loads of ideas. So let's just touch on the final quadrant, which is I. Now this doesn't change much really when it comes to internet marketing. Obviously once you've made your money, you're gonna to wanna to start investing that money to kind of take you to the next level. Now there are obviously loads of online areas that you can find investments, you know, the crowdfunding type sites. Uh, just do a search on Google for investment opportunities or crowdfunding, and you'll find that there are loads of startup businesses and even established businesses that are looking for some funding and you'll get some equity and obviously be able to invest that way. Now, I hope this video was useful. I hope it wasn't rambling too much as I do tend to do in these videos on this channel. If you like what I'm doing, then please do click the like button below. And here's my face here. Click on that to subscribe to be the first note when I do upload some new videos. And here is a video that's been specially selected just for you by YouTube. So yeah, do, do give that a click. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, and until next time, that's bye for now.